Jack and Rob. Today's video is going to be three things that we did in our backyard to live a little bit more sustainably. Okay, so in this video we're going to show you our new raised garden bed, our compost, and our rain barrel. We've been able to make a lot of changes in our daily lives and inside our home, so we're really excited to make some changes to the backyard. So we know not everybody has the space to do these projects, but we do encourage you to try and make other changes or to modify these projects to work with your living space. So we may look a little different throughout this entire video as it has been filmed over the summer months. For example, Robin got her hair chopped, so go check out that video. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video so you can hear our final thoughts and advice. Now let's get on with the video. We're going to start with my raised garden bed, the process of us building it and how things grew over the summer. So my goal for this garden was to grow our own veggies at home. It's much cheaper and the vegetables are a lot fresher. It's also really satisfying growing and picking your own vegetables and then eating them. It's a lot of fun. I feel like a plant mom. Although the process doesn't always go as planned, so here's the video. We are on the way to Home Depot. We just went to a lumber yard and we are buying some wood and some tools and items we need to build our very own raised garden bed. Woo! Hey guys, for my raised garden bed I got a list of supplies and the amount of wood that I would need from the internet. I suggest you get non-treated wood as it's better for your soil and for your veggies. I also recommend getting your wood pre-cut at the store if that's an option so it'll fit in your car easier. Got my reusable bag for all the seeds. Ready? <laughs> get this done. Come on, Jack. Got it. Power stop. Push with your muscles. What are you gonna do when we get to those? Big go, Jacqueline. Go. 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 Yes. <laughs> I just need to go a little gentler. That's it. I was going to like break the wood. Get my baby. Get my biceps. <laughs> Good girl. Thanks. Did it all myself with my dad and sister's help. So here's Robin. She's been put to work. I didn't sign up for this. Once the frames were made and nailed on, I added the black handles and the brass latches to make taking the front frame off easier for maintaining the garden. I then added landscaping material to the bottom to limit the amount of weeds from the ground that would get into my garden. My dad then helped me fill the raised garden bed. We added yard waste such as leaves and then we finished it off with topsoil. When it was finally time to plant my seeds, I followed the measurements on the back of the seed packaging. The packaging tells you how far apart to put the seeds and how deep. Once I was done planting, I lightly watered them. So I have yellow beans, green beans, I have five rows of carrots, I have one row of kale, I have two rows of zucchini, and the last row of just five onions. This was the growth after a few weeks. And a few weeks later, we were able to pick beans. So 
so that has been my raised garden. That experience overall the first year went very well. Unfortunately, I planted the carrots a little too close, but I learned a lot for next year. I also had to transplant some zucchinis as those were overcrowding, but I'm excited to try again next year. So now to Robin's compost. So next we're going to show you my compost. I won't talk too much here because I explain it a lot later in the video, but I wanted a composter because I noticed a lot of our garbage was food scraps. And when food scraps go to landfill, unfortunately they don't break down properly and they let off methane gas, which is not good for the environment. So when you compost it here at home, we're actually able to break it down better and use it for our own garden. My composting experience has been really good so far, even if I had a little bit of a freak out when we went to go buy it. But let's roll those clips and get on with the composting part of the video. What are you doing, Robin? Buying a compost. Stop. Oh, please, please, please. He won't Stop even it. see. I'm it's scared. fine. Why are you scared? Stop it. It's be out in two minutes, okay? Okay. <laughs> Robin. I'm scared. Hey, Robin is literally having a freak out right now. We're sitting outside this guy's house just waiting for him to bring out the compost. And her heart is racing. <laughs> Do you regret coming? No, I want this to... <gasps> Okay, what did Robin just buy? I just bought a composter for our backyard. So I picked up on Facebook Marketplace from a guy and he was actually only selling it for around $30. So that was a really good deal and also it's nice to get things secondhand. So I'm very excited to start our backyard compost. It's slowly getting warmer here where we live. So it's a perfect time to get the supplies. Because a few years ago we did a DIY one at home and it worked for a little bit. But then we kind of just got out of routine. We didn't have an actual compost bin with a proper aeration. We're hoping this one will last a lot longer and yeah. we'll get more out of it. And the guy was really friendly. He gave us some advice. So yeah. I guess we're gonna collect all summer and see where we get. So we will show you guys later as we set it up and to start to use it. But otherwise, I'm excited. All right, so we finally put our compost together. You basically just line up the tabs and we've already put a bunch of leaves on the inside. And it's a nice little compartment here that you can get the compost out. So I'm very, <laughs> so I'm very excited to start. So it's been about two months now that I've started my compost and so far I'm really really enjoying it and I actually do have a bit of compost stirring at the bottom. I basically almost every night or every other night I cut up the compost my family has left me on the counter and I add it to my container for the fridge and leave it in there and then about once a week I will bring it out and dump it into the container and I'll stir it and I'll water it. I'll also at that time add more of my food scraps and more of our yard waste scraps and honestly guys that's basically all it is is that you're doing a mixture of nitrogen with carbon greens with browns and testing and trial and error is honestly going to be key if you think your compost is starting to have a bit of a smell maybe it's too wet and you need to add more dries or vice versa if it's too bland and it's not really composting maybe you need more food scraps so that's what i've been doing is playing around with that and so far been going good um the only thing is that where i live we do have very strong very cold winters a lot of the websites i've been googling are people down south where they can compost year round and harvest as needed unfortunately here this compost i'll probably leave over winter but it's gonna get covered with snow so i think i'm gonna leave it for the year and then maybe harvest it in the spring or keep it going until i have accumulated a lot but otherwise it's crazy to see all the food scraps and waste that we as a family accumulate that otherwise would have gone to landfill so already i'm very pleased with that aspect is that we're actually making ourselves our own compost to use for here in our garden which is something jacqueline can use next year in her raised garden bed as you guys saw and i'm proud of my family because they're all on board they're all saving their food scraps and involved. I believe we will be keeping this up for a long time. So lastly, we bought a brain barrel. Unfortunately, we haven't set it up to the eaves troughs yet because we do have to cut it correct to size. It did take a really long time to come in the mail. We did look at multiple stores like in person to take home. Unfortunately, we couldn't find any that were right for us. And we also looked for one that was second hand, but we had no luck. But we ended up ordering it online from Home Depot. The purpose of the rain barrel is to collect rain and then we can use that water to water our garden, other plants, and then also water my compost. So we're really excited to do that. And we can't wait to use it for the rest of the summer. So overall we're very pleased with the three projects that we completed this summer to help live more of a sustainable lifestyle. We are looking forward to keeping these projects going for years to come. So we're gonna leave you guys with one piece of advice for each project. So mm -hmm. for the raised garden bed uh, my biggest tip would be to spread out the seeds a little bit more because the plants grow 
and take up room <laughs> yeah and then for me for my compost i just recommend making sure you have a lot of browns i feel like we had so much food scraps and i ran out of leaves quite quickly if that happens just end up using paper and paper towels and things like that for the rain barrel the easiest tip that i found was to purchase a rain barrel that already has the spout attached to it all right so that's going to be the end of this video we really do encourage you to try some of these switches out and let us know how it goes we hope you enjoyed this video we had a lot of fun filming it for you guys and make sure to check out the rest of our channel we have tons of other videos up for you and we're going to continue making videos in the future thanks for watching thank you bye, bye. <laughs> where right there he's okay we okay. are recording okay stop it ready i'm gonna redo it more pressure <laughs> stop it you don't get to stop <laughs> Robbie, you're delaying our time. I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna need that Robinson screwdriver, you guys. There's a bunny. Girls! What? There's one bag. Don't video too much. Thank you. Okay. Robin, I'm not tall enough. Do you that sound in. That's the dance you do it with like actual wind though. Mommy, can I have a staple gun? Well, Wait. just cut a straight line. I'm going to. <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs>